Hi guys and welcome back to the channel as you can see below me yes it is patch note day it is eight minutes past nine at the time of at the start of recording <coughs> <coughs> and what a time to actually start coughing again yes unfortunately the dreaded cough has come back I'm going to see the doctor and hopefully they'll do something so I can get rid of it faster but anyway we're not interested in that no we're interested in what we're going to get now we already know about the new Gaunt Evisivator or Evisivator whatever Obviously, I dropped the video on that one. Yes, it is another loop, but it's actually... I, I did see somebody comment saying it's another loop, but what I'm going to say, this is actually not an additional loop. It's, it's an integrated loop to what's already in the game. It's just basically adding new currency, and it's now giving you a specific ship to actually use. So, whereas at the minute, the tactic, usually using your faction ships, you're tending to hit within the battle triangle, what the new ship can do, we don't know. We shall find out when we actually get it. Well, depending on sourcing, will depend on whether or not I get it today or I've got to wait for it. So let's get cracking then. So my crew is a damn fine crew, just as capable, if not so, than any other crew in the fleet. Now, I'm going to guess that's from Captain Pike because obviously only captains usually talk about their crews like that so but anyway it's a big galaxy but sometimes too big especially when you're far away from you and your family um what the, uh, oh there we go <coughs> from your friends and family for pike and the enterprise crew this seems truer than ever nurse chapel on a mission uh, to tend to cr uh, criminal klingon wounds finds herself stranded uh with a Charge on a distant planet, pursued by his enemies, unable to contact Pi and Benga, must leave the Enterprise and fly with the Independent Commander, searching for the galaxies. There's your mission. You're going out to save um, Nurse Chapel um, in the galaxy. Rare herb. Uh, searching the galaxy for a rare herb that will save the life of a young girl. Spock is seconded, um, uh, seconded. Sorry, to a Federation vessel crewed by only Vulcans. Now, if we remember from TOS. There was one Federation starship that was crewed entirely with Vulcans, and that was the USS Intrepid, and that was destroyed by that big amoeba in space. Um, the, the actual only Star Trek series, or the original series, that won um, some Grammys or whatever they were because of the special effects. Um, and it's taught unexpectedly singular lesson about logic, pride, and emotion. Obviously, there are times, however, when distance... Uh, blah, blah, yeah, okay. So... I'm sure you're going to want to read all that yourself. But anyway, it's um, it's simply logical to prepare for the future. Well, absolutely. So what we're going to get this month, we're going to be getting the new ship, the Gorn, the Antigorn ship. The Monovine's getting a refit, so that should be interesting. New missions, primes and officers, battle pass and cosmetics and more. So basically the same old jargon. Right, so the Gorn of Isvator then... I think I just got it right, um, <laughs> is laying the groundwork, the Discovery ship, or expanding on what the Discovery ship laid, blah, 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 um, with the uh, summoning, well, the ability for other players to actually join you in a system. Um, obviously, it's going to be available from Ops um, 40 through uh, level ranges 4 through 65 because it's got 15 tiers. Um, it's a... Yeah, we know what the spatial riff is because of what we discussed yesterday. So this is what it's kind of going to look like on screen. So obviously, Alliance members, when it actually appears in Alliance chat, you're going to see this um, thing called Use Portal. You're most likely going to have to see yourself. And if you actually look in the top right of that um, display box, it actually gives you a timer of how long that portal is open for. Now, again, that is going to be based on the level of your ships, of the Eviscerator, so please bear that in mind as well as warp range as well. So as you can see, it's going to last for X duration and then disappearing when closed. Uh, you have the you you will have a usage counter tracking how many ships you can use. Players can travel to any system within their grade or below. Um, ships traveling through a wormhole get one free one time insta recall. It's got an insta recall. So that's going to be interesting to see. Um, now, players Ops 10 and above will be able to use the promo code because that's going to be back again. Um, giving a visit, 
type it in the visitor and you're going to get 24,000 event store currency. Guess what, guys? Hang on. Approximately 30 minutes off after event reset. This code um, will not work prior to this time. <coughs> so, basically, half half past five for me but that's when event reset is not when the arc starts because the arc normally starts an hour before event reset so just bear that in mind so it's event store month great no materials no resources just what we needed no it's not no it's not so yeah so get 24,000 event store currency. What kind of event store, we, I do not know, we'll, we'll see. But, yeah, I mean, we only had one, like, um, what? It finished about 70 days ago. So don't expect it to be a big one. I would probably say it might be more like um, the Dabo wheel, where you'll have a set amount of stuff. So you will be able to get resources and materials. And hopefully... The payouts will probably be higher than what you normally get in a month because they usually are. So, but um, the ship is also coming with uh, passive abilities: the hunt hunters and rigorous extraction. Hunt the hunters, as we know, is the bonus against gone hostiles for isolytic damage, and rigorous extraction is giving you more of the new apex isomatter. So, I'm just finally getting all the announcements telling me that it's coming in. So here's the loop. We went through the loop in the video. If you want to see the loop. Please check out the video, but here's your quick overall. Kill the hunters, get the loot, go to refinery, upgrade your ship, or spend on related research. So there you go. So that's that's why we're not that that that. Yeah. So um now uh what we've got to get is so the a refinery will provide you with the parts you need to upgrade the ship, as well as PvP iso isolated defense artifact shards, officers for updates 65. And 66 and ship parts uh, check out the blog and the videos um, for more details <coughs> so here's your monovine refit then it doesn't actually look too bad I mean granted when I start going on a bigger screen we'll be able to see these in a bit more detail and what this is going to do is Sigma resources added to Queen's favors claims okay and burn into PVE R style so it's gonna bring its own burning so if you get this, it will bring its own burn in, so automatically giving yourself isolating. So there's no so if you have the refit, there'll be no need for the likes of Nero, Giorgio, or Neelix. So you won't need to worry about having them on your ship. So you can put them Neelix on another battleship and uh, Giorgio and Nero again on yeah, another battleship, because primarily burning works ideally for battleships. Um, officers coming in this month then, so we have Epic, James T. Kirk, Strange New Worlds. So now, this is, oh god, Paul, um, oh I forgot his bloody name. Oh, this is the new Kirk. Yes, the new Kirk. Um, he has a captain's ability which is reducing enemy shield mitigation against non-Amada hostiles. So this is basically PvE. Um, reducing that mitigation by 40% with synergy of 30 and 15 either side, depending on um, class of officer. So, okay, yeah, that, so that sounds actually pretty good. So if you actually look at that, if you go for full synergy, you could actually end up with a 100% shield mitigation. What's that going to mean? I don't think it's going to be a full literally bypass the shields i don't think it's going to be that but i suppose dj and his and the tra talking track team will work that one out along with other members of the community who really do help the content creators with all this kind of stuff but anyway officer ability phaser bank operator increasing weapon damage against non amanda hostiles by 200 600 1200 2000 and 3500 percent so that is a significant boost of weapon damage I, I can't disagree with that one. 3,500. So literally, it just seems like at the minute we're getting a lot of stuff towards increasing weapons damage. But, but, that also does translate into increased amount of isolytic damage. Remember, as part of that base formula for isolytic damage, weapons damage, 
the amount that you, the, the total weapons damage, including your research and officers and artifacts, counts towards it. So the more weapons damage you bring, the more isolytic damage you can deliver. Okay, so where officer is going to, it's Pele, it's the, um, the unusual alien who could live for God knows how long. Um, she is characterized as a resourceful and enthusiastic officer, contributing her expertise to skills of the Enterprise's various missions. Her role adds an overall dynamic and synergy to the crew, much like her entrance into the Star Trek Fleet Command. Um, blah, blah, blah. Pelia will boost, focus, boost focused on ISO hostile combat. When paired with Sam and James T. Kirk and Benga or Chapel, Pella will round out the crew to provide maximal synergy for awesome power versus ISO hostiles. So they're basically saying from this, um, you could correct me if you think I'm wrong about this, but that sounds to me that like she is going to be primarily, <laughs> primarily anti-Gorn. Okay, she's going to be anti-Gorn. So... Officer ability, because look, she's a below deck officer by the looks of this, reducing isolytic damage received from non Armada hostiles. Gone, gone. So, yep, yeah, full synergy on the bridge. You can actually see that one. Obviously, minus two, minus five, minus ten, minus fifteen, and minus twenty percent. So that's that's actually not too bad. I won't say it's exactly the best, but hey ho. And then, perpetually bored. Increases isolated defense of your ship by 10, 25, 45, 6, uh, 70, and 100%. So that's not bad. I would probably say as a below deck officer would be more beneficial. Um, but then again, I don't know. I mean, supposedly rare. The bridge officer side of it is not particularly too bad as well. So, mm, yeah. I, 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 can see some, I can see some good there. But again, it's going to be how um, it's going to uh, uh, how you're going to be able to do it. Now, sourcing for the officers, yeah. Let's not even contemplate. Are we going to get the rare this month? I haven't got a clue. I've not watched DJ's video. I've not seen um, Beck's video. As you can see, Star Trek Fleet Command is just a uh, video's dropped on YouTube. So I, I don't know what the officer sourcing is going to be this month. I would presume, at least for James Kirk, we're going to have the standard SMS SLB um, weekends. And as for Pellier, Pellier, not got a clue. But given the way it has been so far this year about rares, don't count on free to play actually getting her. So, but I, I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Um, 20, 20 new mission, core missions, five new missions to introduce the the new ship. So. Obviously, remember the mission, the core missions this month are going to be the same as last month, which is episodic. So each mission is going to be a different thing. It's not basically going to be a continuation. Um, new primes we're bringing in is uh, research cost efficiency, prime wartime morale, uh, faction tribute primes, level six and seven. Oh my god! Oh my god! They're increasing those stupid chests at six and seven, and the temple dis. Uh, Disruption. <coughs> so the what prime wartime morale is a uh, while you have morale, a twenty percent isolytic damage. So this is going to give explorers a little bit more love uh, coming in with morale. But if you put morale on another ship, yeah, okay, it's going to work on there as well. But bearing in mind that w the bonus for morale is, um, oh god, is it? Piercing stats? It's like a 1% a, a increase on something. <coughs> That's its base function. I can't remember off the top. It's something that we barely use in the game because it's just absolutely a waste of time. Um, but again, for those operating the G3 Enterprise, if you have got this morale, keeping its shields up, and you're getting some extra isolated damage. I mean, the vast majority of the players in the game so far, from last check, is Ops 39. So, if there's any spenders at 39, which maybe not, this is going to be a, a good one for you using the Enterprise. Uh, next up is the Prime Temple Disruption. Increasing Temple Disruptor's daily claim by 300%. 
Wow. That's a boost. That's an extra 400 and... Well, hang on. That could either, either take you to 450 or it's an addition of 450. So basically giving you 600. So it says it increases it by 300. So I would logically say that's going to make it more along the lines of the 600 side of things in total. Because you originally get 150 daily, 300% increase. Yeah, that would usually signify 600, but yeah, just don't don't rely on it. But anyway, so extensions. This is the next prime prime research cost efficiency has a two level extension up to 450% G3 to G5. Wow, and then those those glorious tribute um, primes, which cost you a freaking arm and a leg. Um, Taking it to levels six and seven. So there's an extra, what, $200 for each one. And that's an extra 200 and 350% respectively each level. Reputation from killing hostiles. The free claims also contain 1,000, 2,000 faction credits. And 12.5 and 50 million rep reputation respectively. So that looks like all we're going to get this month. Um, obviously the avatars... You're going to get a Gorn Hatchling, the ship, Pelia and Kirk. And also three frames as well. Um, the, oh, oh, bloody hell. We have the event calendar in the patch notes. Now, this is brilliant. So, we're going to be able to see what events we've got coming up already, starting today. So, the Aftermath slash Captain's Orders Captain. Um, that's going to be a month-long meta by the looks of it, because it's running all three weeks. Um, build the eviscerator, upgrade the eviscerator, um, also on the first two days. So, yeah, something tells me it's going to be a spend. It's going to be a spend. Um, Gone status report, that seems an interesting one. And then also you got some more of this, um, this line thingy. That's part of the overall meta for the two months. And then seal the deal part one. Um, running all the way through to, hang on, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, running till the, um, running till Sunday, event reset on Sunday, and then see other deal part two will start and run right through until Tuesday, um, Friday event reset, and then event seal part three will run, so what those events are going to be, we'll, um, we'll find out as we go through the, uh, going uh, get them there. Forbidden Technology recruits. Ep there you go. Epic recruits at the weekend. <coughs> so yeah, there's your Sam Kirk. Uh, thin lines fed. Thin lines cling on. Thin lines warming. So I'm guessing there's going to be like attacking one or the other factions. Um, upgrade the Gorn Eviscerator is going to come back on Monday, followed by the status report again. Um, artifacts. Uh, coming in on the Wednesday and Thursday, Artifact Hunt. And then by the looks of it, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is going to be pretty light. Just This is just what I'm guessing from this. Um, and then you've pretty much got the same until, next when, until Wednesday the 22nd when you've got a proven hypothesis. And then at the weekend you've got vic something called Victory. So that would be that would probably signify the end of the month. So yeah. Uh, so make sure you keep an eye on the official channels for updates related to this month's event schedule. So because we're going into the bug fixes, um, let's let's have a look at this first one. Fixed an issue with the Kishara artifact where the attack button appeared for a fraction of a second instead of the Q attack button. Yes, as I understand it, this thing was broke on release. Cracking job, Scopely. Cracking job. So, but anyway, so is I'll let you um, go through the patch notes and go through all the bug fixes and all the improvements. But until then, don't forget to update update your game via your client media and your PC versions as well. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to my PC just updating it itself for me. But anyway, until then, I'm Admiral Pegasus. Enjoy the month. Enjoy the event store for whatever comes our way with this one. But until then, 
Stay safe, live long and prosper, and I shall catch you on the next one. Goodbye.